Oh, Jesus Christ. 57 minutes in Bridgerton. Well, it's 3.19 in the morning, so here we go. So we open where the episode ended, at the Great Bowl. Girl, the Duke just took her glove off. Oh no, Daphne was just dreaming about kissing him. So Daphne didn't turn down three engagements already. Duke, get your mouth all off that spoon. You're in public. In the house of the ugly stepsisters, they're talking about some princes coming to England. And they gonna get gussy. Well, I don't know what you're gonna do about them faces. So the plucky sister helping her cousin get letters from her lover, but one ain't showing up yet. But as they having a tender moment, the evil mama walk in. So they say, we just gonna marry you off and uh, your husband gonna think it's his. Okay, now this string quartet version of bad guy is popping my bus. You know, I think I like this just because it's like there's no Rona, there's no masks. It's just happy, going to parties, like life used to be. Child, she asking this one guy that she tried to dance with, and he's like, great question. I have no idea. I've never thought of these things. In Egypt. In Egypt. Oh, Lord, marrying an idiot. Ooh. Somebody that buys Miracle Whip. It's one of those products that you look at in the store, and you're like, who's buying this? I want to stand by there and just, you know, whenever I see somebody go, uh, mm, 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 mm. no, no, here. Bring out the helmets and bring out the best. Just, no, 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 sir. Excuse, sir. Sir, no, no, no. Those are, they just went expired. Those are recalled. They told me to give you this. Hel mm -hmm. No, this is fresh. I put raisins in my chicken salad and grapes, but no pecan. Lord have mercy. Now we got the braggart and he talking too much. Chow, the Duke looking at her dance with loser after loser. She talking to these guys. One guy, his dad gonna unload his mom on them. The Duke's like, yeah, mm -hmm, I'm looking like a pretty good option. And you ain't gonna get me, or is she? Girl, we got a queen with the afro. I can't. So now Daphne meeting this prince of Prussia. <laughs> oh my God. He says... Your gown is exquisite. And they was just talking about that girl. She bust out laughing. The queen gonna get at her. Ooh, and she did a snort laugh. All right, so now we got um, the soprano that the brother's fucking at the dress shop. So now it's the huzzy hour at the gentleman's club. Oh, and she's shopping in the same place she found the brother. And she's like, yep, you said you don't want it. Well, I'm gonna find somebody else in front of your face. Meanwhile, Daphne can't sleep, so she go to get some warm milk. Child, they was like, don't wake the servants. I'll do it myself. Then they get down there, don't know how to light the oven. They said, we'll, we'll just drink it cold. So Daphne says, why doesn't the Duke want to get married? And he's like, I ain't telling you. He said, well, you know, he had a crappy family life, so he likes to be a loner. So now we've got a new wing opening at Somerset House, and the cousin is rejoining the ball. And the Prince of Prussia going to be there, too, um... You couldn't find a cuter blonde? Really? Oh, Lord, they bring uh, the cousin over to the ugliest in the world. He's giving a, um, girl, that cousin gave him a quick, I do not believe I was addressing you. She's like, don't even, mm -mm. Don't, don't even touch, try to touch my hand, uggo. Oh, so now we got the brother talking to um, Lady Danbury about this painting and the artist standing right there. She said, okay, he threw shade. Answer it. Oh, the king of Prussia comes over to Daff. Child, he said, I think you love the music of Vienna. And she was like, nah, it ain't you either. You gone, gone, girl. So she run over to the Duke and they talk about how they put one over on Lady Whistle. Oh my goodness, they're holding hands and looking at a painting. But you know, before anything happens, she run off. So we come outside and the one heifer didn't fake fainted in the prince's arms. So he ain't going to the opera. Okay, so now they're both, you know, like, I don't want to see anybody else but you, but I don't know how to say, oh, all right. It's very by the numbers, Sean. So Lady Whistledown's letter comes out and she talking about the swoon, but, you know, the diamond don't seem to care about him. And the queen's like, what do you mean? The Bridgerton girl ain't after the king of Prussia. And the Prussian prince is like, wait, I think they mean the king. Where do they keep him anyway? And she's like, the Bridgerton girl. Where, yeah, where's your husband? The queen said, her heart is no matter as long as her hand is free. You are a prince. 
charm her. Okay. Okay, so now we got the wicked stepmom and the cousin going somewhere down on Skid Row in the middle of the day. So she said, look, I'm sorry, girl, but this is going to be your life. And she's like, ain't nothing wrong with being hardworking. And she's like, but look at them kids. Now, I'm sorry, but uh, where's your man since he loves you so much? If he loves you so much, he should be here. We wouldn't be having this conversation. He wanted the puss. He made the promise. Now you feel the pain. So on their little uh, parade parole, they talk about what makes a marriage. Friendship, the physical, the intangible, battlefield. Oh my God, he got to teach her the birds and the bees. Oh! <laughs> Girl, you ain't been flicking that bean. She's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I gotta say, this is some good acting because I have never, the genuine look of confusion. I am impressed. She really looked. <laughs> Brava. You deserve an Emmy for this. <laughs> Cause you really. <laughs> Oh my God, this is, <laughs> what kind of PBS masturbation special is this? The way she's looking at <laughs> This is too weird. He looked too old and she looked too little girl right now. Like, <laughs> in a park. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> oh my God. So Lady Daphne, like, look, piss and get off the pot. She could marry a prince. So now we got brother and sister smoking outside again. Oh my goodness, this is a cute little theory. Is um, uh, Natasha Leone Lady Whistledown? Uh-uh, I'm not about to watch this have a play with herself. Oh Jesus, now they gotta talk about it the next day. Oh. Oh, I don't know. I was, okay, so he breaking up with her so she can get with the prince. So the Duke storms into his castle. I'd like to leave at once. Daphne run upstairs crying and now we at the opera. Okay, now that was good. That was good. Oh, Lord, now this brother showing up to hurt her again. He said, I miss you. I'm not jealous. Girl, then marry her and shut up. She's like, look, I, I can't be your fool again, honey. This ain't gonna work. I'm regular class. All right, so a letter didn't come from Spain for the cousin. Oh, he denying everything. That mama was right. <laughs> The mama heard her screaming. <laughs> she was just like, mm-hmm. I tried to tell you, babe. Wasn't trying to be mean. <gasps> oh my God. They wrote the letter. Oh, that's evil. <laughs> Draw my eyebrows lower or I'll have a look of constant astonishment on my face all day. <laughs> <laughs> at the dress shop, Daphne hears Lady Cowper kind of throw shade at her mama, and Daphne's like, I might have to take that half as man. So now we're at the bowl. Oh, girl, Daphne walk in. She's got her swoon fan. She's giving you big hair. Still in these baby doll dresses. And child, he dropped that old hag's daughter like a bad habit to go run and say hey. And the Duke is truly jealous now. Girl, she dropped her fan, get him to pick it up. Okay, so we end it with her dancing with the prince and the duke storming out. Yep, take your butt. Take your butt. 